Council for the Labour Party's 2023 presidential candidate Mike Ozokeme SAN has criticized Nigeria's Electoral Commission, INEC, for announcing Tinubu as the country's next president so quickly as the evidence that they possess indicate that Tinubu did not win the 2023 presidential election. He criticized INEC during an interview. Recall that Peter B's legal team recently attended court proceedings in Abuja, where they were able to tender from EC8A for eight states as part of their plans to retrieve the allegedly stolen mandate of the Labour Party 2023 presidential candidate Peter B through the presidential election tribunal. Mike Ozokeme, a member of Peter B's legal team and a senior advocate of Nigeria, SAN, stated that one of the witnesses in court was opposed to Bolatin Nubu inauguration as the 16th president because he did not win 25% of the vote in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, as required by law. Mike Ozokeme continued by saying, The cruise of our case today was that INEC was hasty and wrong in declaring Tinubu the winner of the elections because every piece of evidence demonstrates that he did not win. This was our case today and four witnesses supported it, he said. <laughs> The member representing the Agege One constituency of Lagos State at the Lagos State House of Assembly, Modashiru Obasa, has been re-elected as Speaker of the House for the third term. Obasa emerged as Speaker of the 10th Assembly shortly after the Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, proclaimed the Assembly on Tuesday morning. <laughs> Every 